Hello there, folks, and welcome back. Today, we're going over something that's extremely revolutionary, could change life as we know it, and the future of the world as we know it, and that's the Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. Now, this comes in two different storage capacities. I have the smaller storage capacity. I've been testing it out for about a week straight. I've used a whole bunch of apps so I can give you an accurate and detailed review. Also, we're going to use video in this review that goes inside and screen records my experience and gives you a tutorial within the Oculus headset itself. So stay tuned. Don't miss out on that. Now, the Oculus itself, you know, it's probably about seven inches wide, maybe three to four inches tall, and it has a polymer outer body. It has cameras on the outside of it. So there's a camera on the two cameras on the lower and two cameras on the corners of the upper right. Here's a camera. Here's a camera. Here's a camera. Here's a camera. Um, on this side, it has a audio port and it has a USB-C jack to in to either transfer files um, or to charge the device utilizing the internal lithium ion battery. It has an elastic strap that's pretty comfortable and some plastic adjusting pieces right here. Um, it has an elastic strap on the top that is Velcro, so you can adjust that for different size heads. Now, this can adjust to pretty much anybody's size head except for a very small child, which I don't recommend use this anyways. Follow the safety protocols, precautions, and guidelines. On the bottom here, you have a little tiny pinhole, and that is the microphone, and there's two. There's one here and here. And then you have a volume adjustment button with a plus or minus signal on it. Now inside here, if you can look right here, we have an adjustable eye width. Um, you can adjust this for very narrow by pushing it in, adjust it, and it has three different positions that it locks into. So depending on how wide apart your eyes are or how close together, it's very important that you get it right. If you're really, really careful and you push just enough, you can very carefully get it to click, stay just between those eye notches, but it's extremely difficult to get it done. So you get just that perfect width. Um, and it just so happens my eyes are like in between the two the three settings. So I have to just fiddle with it to just get it just right. I do wish that they made it to where you could easily get it between those um, without any struggle um, and or have smaller, finer adjustments to it. Um, when you wear it, it's extremely clear, but it's not like high definition, super high definition clear, I should say that. To adjust the tightness on the headband, you adjust this out to tighten it or slide these two plastic posts in to make it larger. Now, one thing to note is that this sideband articulates and this stays, it's very stiff and it stays where you put it. What people oftentimes do and what I did when I was first using it is I would um, tighten it, over tighten it, and then I would end up with a headache and marks on my face. Whereas you can have it looser and then just adjust this so that it kind of can'ts in just the right position without having it so tight. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Well, first I show you these controllers. So it comes with two controllers, one for the right hand and one for the left hand. Um, each controller fits very nicely in the hand. It's very ergonomic and they do have this adjustable lanyard, which I do recommend you use. It has a middle fin uh, finger button right here, an index finger right here. And this is pretty much what you use as a trigger in games to shoot something. And uh, you use this as basically your, your, your primary mouse button, you could say, or your enter button. Then you have your A, B buttons, a, a thumb joystick right here. Let me see if I can show you that better and you can push down on that to run and then you have your oculus button or menu button right here and that's what you use to enter and exit your me primary menu when you put it on you put it on just like this all right you can adjust this like i said to cant this in just the right position it's pretty comfortable it has a little bit of weight to it um and I have found that I can get motion sickness using it with certain games or applications. And I am not a person who gets motion sickness ever. So it's like really weird for me because I can get nausea, headaches, um, or migraines from it. I have noticed that's been my experience. I'm not saying that's everybody follow the safety protocols, precautions, and guidelines. Um, but you might find that you can get motion sick in this. It has very nice, soft 
foam around the edge. It's very comfortable on your face. It might make your neck a little sore if you use it for a long time because there is some weight to it. Um, there is a plastic piece and another padded piece that you can use that adjust this uh, for further eye relief so you can fit glasses on inside of this. Um, but I don't have glasses, so I don't use that. But there is an adapter that comes with it. If you wear eyeglasses, you don't have to worry about that. It comes with what you need. So let's dive into that video so I can show you the in, uh, like in VR tutorial. All right, folks. So here we just logged in to the Oculus Quest 2. And as you can see, you have a fully immersive VR experience. You can see in every direction. In fact, if I stand up here, um, I am in basically my virtual reality house. I can look straight up at the moon in the sky. I can look down at the rug and it is fully immersive. It feels as though I'm in this place. And even if I walk around, I can actually walk around and in, as if I'm really there. Now, um, one thing to note is that if you're in a small gaming area or a small room, you can set a virtual boundary and that boundary will light up and actually change the color of that boundary. Um, and then if you penetrate the boundary, um, it'll light up red. And if you go through the boundary, you'll see it'll light up the actual area in your house so that you don't accidentally crash into anything while you're moving around. Now, you have these two remotes that you hold in your hands and you, can, you can't see your arms um, in this uh, setting, but you can see your remotes. You have a B button and A button, your Oculus button or A menu button, or I mean menu button. You have a joystick um, that uh, is for your thumb and you have battery indicator lights that are green and you have a middle finger button on each remote and a trigger button. Now the trigger is basically your, think of it as your mouse button, your primary uh, enter button, your clickier button. And when you bring up, push the, uh, the Oculus button or menu button, it will bring up this area here. And you have the time of day, your battery uh, power left, your network signal. Uh, it connects wirelessly to your network and you have any notifications, your little profile picture. Um, then you can go explore and you can explore um, different applications. Think of it like a smartphone with different in your, in your Google Play Store or your Apple Store. And then you can go to more from your apps, entertainment. You can watch fully immersive VR videos, movies, and clips. Friends activities. If you have friends, you can see what they're up to, uh, what they like. And you can also add friends. Um, you can go to saved. And that's going to bring up uh, applications you have downloaded or saved or activities. Um, this area over here is your friends area, people you might have met in uh, the Horizon Worlds or Horizons venues. And you can close or minimize that by clicking the F uh, X on the lower left corner. Now going back into quick settings, let's pull this up. Now to move this around, as you see here, you're going to utilize your index, or excuse me, your middle finger. You're going to hold down on it while uh, you have the cursor on it and you're, that allows you to move around stuff. Now, you can click on quick settings. You have your Wi-Fi, your guard, guardian station. Um, you have, it shows your controller um, battery life left right here, the date. You have additional settings within here. You can choose your refresh rates, your air length, Bluetooth and mouse trackpad. Uh, you can bring in a couch, a virtual couch, a virtual desk in like workspace, uh, display theme, um, and a whole bunch of other options. Thumbstick angle you can change. Um, go back into our, you can change your reset your view. So reset your view allows me to be able to move around my head with the Oculus Quest 2 on and get it in just the right spot to where I'm comfortable and then click confirm with that trigger button on my controller and that way I have it orientated in the correct position. You, you can mute and unmute your microphone. 
night display changes the color tint so it's more comfortable and of course you have do not disturb and several other you can do voice commands so I can click the oculus button with my thumb twice on the controller or my menu button it'll bring up listening and as you can see Go to Horizon Worlds. Sorry, didn't understand that. If it does understand it, it'll bring it up for you. It's actually very good at voice recognition. It's just certain things are outside the parameters of what it can do. Um, this is your uh, reported problem area, and then you can adjust uh, pass-through home. Now, you can adjust your volume here by holding down on your trigger uh, button and adjust your brightness right here. Now we'll exit out of that. You can just push your cursor away from it and click the uh, trigger button and that will allow uh, that to happen. Now you have two controllers and they do have lanyards but you cannot see them uh, right now. You have your notifications. You can click on these. You can see your app, social, phone, store, and devices. Um, you can go to your profile and you can choose and edit your avatar here, make it look like yourself. It has tons of different options. You can edit what shows up when somebody uh, puts their cursor on you in a virtual world. This says Hunter and Outdoorsman. My YouTube channel is, and I need to fix that. It looks like it's wrong right there. You got a couple different privacy settings and ad settings you can do. You can switch accounts as well. You can add more accounts. Um, and then you go to store excuse me and this is basically your featured apps top chart apps uh, new releases categories browse all and so on you can go to pricing um, and they do have a lot of free apps and games but uh, as you can see you can also pay for ones uh, and they can get you know more expensive but uh, very very nice this is where you can download and find horizon venues and if you have access horizon worlds worlds excuse me then you go to people and up here you'll see we have my friends you can access your messenger you can access um uh, send messages and different settings you can create a party um, for business purposes or for fun uh, you can do all kinds of different things in there this is where you go and you click the share button right here and you can go into cast so you can cast this to other devices live cast it take photos or record as we are doing right now and photos you've taken or video should appear right here now explore tab um, is basically your downloaded applications excuse me let me click out of there your downloaded applications and events that you've sta saved or it can be uh, applications or events that are um, recommended for you so uh, let's go real quickly into entertainment and we'll go to this now this is a but fully the immersive experience. Sport is one lived on the fine line and life. And it's going to start off right here. You can actually fast forward this. On the 31st of April. It's a fully immersive video. Except, uh, it looks like tracking was lost for some reason. Um, usually that's not a problem. Yuli fell on a mountain next to Mount. Let's go ahead and immerse. So now you can see I can look down and it's as though I'm standing on the mountain. It's absolutely breathtaking and incredible. And you can actually experience videos and documentaries this way. It's absolutely insane and super realistic. Now, the virtual worlds. See if I can exit out here. We will go exit this and we will go to Horizon Worlds. By the way, to exit, usually you just tap that Oculus button or menu button to get yourself out of whatever you're in. There's also, and we'll show you here in a second, let's go to apps. Apps is this little thing right here, and this is just specific apps that you've downloaded. You have, uh, you know, I have YouTube VR, work rooms, venues, and so on, and we have Horizon Worlds in here, but we should, where are, where did we go here? 
right here. Click on that. It's going to upload. Now, it's going to bring you through a tutorial the first time unit. Sometimes this can take a little bit uh, with Horizon Worlds. But basically, what you're going to do is you're going to enter uh, your virtual like room, and then you can exit that into a common area and then choose or walk to, spe to specific rooms or worlds um, or play specific games. Now, unless you've muted yourself, everybody in that world can hear you and can communicate with you. So here you have attend, hangouts, play, and then over here is my avatar, I can wave. As you can see, I'm very lifelike. If you put your hand straight up in the air, it does that. If I do push down on my middle finger and give a thumbs up, it's gonna do this. Oh, now it's not doing it here, there we go. I can do one hand, it does that. So if I wanna fist bump somebody, I can push my thumb down on the button and clench all my fingers and go like that, and if it hits their fist, then it's a fist bump and it'll make like a little graphic thing. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to Hangout and then we're just gonna go to uh, visit the world. Sometimes this takes a little bit. Teleports you right over into the world. Of course, be respectful, be courteous, be kind, and be professional. Um, there's enough problems going on already with uh, kids running around and saying inappropriate things or irritating you um, you can report that and we'll show you here in a second what you can do if that's a problem so we're going to walk right out here and you can change and adjust how you walk around and how you teleport um, we won't get into that a whole lot today but here you can see their names if you have a problem with somebody you can put their point your finger up click on their name with the trigger finger and you can go to add friend, join party up, or you can go over here How's to the three little dots, there? click on mute, block, pull to remove or report, and you can use a lot, utilize all these. If you want to block, you can go to block, confirm. Um, you can talk to people and they can hear you just fine. To get out of that, you can just click. Yeah. Um, where you want to go? Can you hear you guys me? Finding anywhere to go? Yeah. Okay, wait, how do I, how do I, how do we go somewhere, like, more popular? Yeah, so, come over here, I'll show you. So, back to home. For you two, since you're already friends, uh, try putting your hands in like this, together. Kind of like a huddle. You can actually Hello. grab stuff with your hand. Standing. You can see your arms in this application. You can't in all applications. Down. You can actually see your hands and your gestures. So, you can look down and see your stomach. You. Um, so you can do a different view where you can see together. your whole body. Now, if you want to go to your safe spot, yeah, you hit this. that shield button. Yeah, and it's going to give you some options here. Uh, do you want to continue? Do you want to mute somebody? You just hit OK. And then you can go leave safe zone. Okay, if you want to go to your menu settings, you can hit that right. button. If you want to mute your mic, you hit that. All right. So if you want to take a picture, you can take a selfie. Party chat or app chat, just so you, guys you can know use this as a selfie chat, picture right here. So nobody else in the app can hear you. Uh, um, just so tons know. of different anyway, options, but we'll exit out of this. Up, we'll hit that and you are up, right? menu you button that twice. Everybody's head. <laughs> you said you were new, so and we hit that menu button. It brings up this. this we can hit quit, and then we can exit. Now, there's a lot more to it. There's way more to it. Um, there's a lot of games. Um, we can't go every, over everything in this video, but I hope that gives you um, some overview uh, and helps you a bit figuring out how to use the Oculus Quest 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of um, oh, sharing right here and stop my recording.